card you have, Aquarius, is the Queen of Wands. This is a fired up woman, someone who wants to partner up with you in business or romance if you like women. Or this is my female Aquarius, you may have fire in your chart. Okay? She's very driven, passionate, energetic type of woman. Like I said, she's, she's looking to the future, right? And she wants to go after her dreams, her goals, right? She has a lot of ideas. She's a very, like, creative woman, very ambitious, driven, like... She's a boss in a sense, okay? So this could be my female Aquarius or some other woman in your life, okay? And if my men, or for my men, this woman is here, okay? Let's see. The tower. There was not a tower moment here. This may be, keep in mind when you're listening to this reading, this could be something that happened already, something that's going on now, or something that's coming up, okay? So keep that in mind when you're listening, okay? Um, all messages may not apply to you in your situation either, so just keep that in mind. This is a general reading. It's applying to many different uh aquarians okay so if i'm pulling in different messages it's because not all of you are going through the same things okay um like i said check out your moon your rising i could give you more insight okay if something's unclear here um the tower is about an unexpected turn of events okay it could speak to some information coming to light or a sudden shift of events it was like something in your life may come crumbling down it was built on a weak foundation for some of you Something here, there's like a great transformation going on. This is like a paradigm shift, okay? It talks about something in your life that may have been long-standing, maybe coming, you know, coming to an end here, okay? It's coming down so that it can be rebuilt, okay? Something in your life that was like a weak foundation that it was built on. A, a job, relationship, something like that, okay? Or there's just saying that there's some sort of unexpected thing going on. It doesn't have to be bad. It could just be unexpected turn of events. We'll get more around what it is. Four of Wands. Okay, now some of you, I'm getting celebrations, things to do with, you know, moving, traveling, or things to do with the home are definitely significant here. Celebrations going on in the home, reasons like I'm getting unexpected pregnancy. That was the first thing I thought of. Okay, I'm seeing marriage for some of you. It's going to be different. I see gatherings in the home, events taking place in the home. Something to do with a home is significant, like you could be relocating. Things to do with the family, domestic matters, okay? Let's see, next card. Okay, peace and harmony. So if you went through any storms, I see like protection around your home. You definitely have guardian angels here watching over you, okay, and your family. I'm getting you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Um, like I said, if you went through a storm, right? Because this can actually talk about a storm, whether a literal storm, like you, there was some sort of like storm, natural disaster that occurred. I see, or just some sort of like tower moment that impact, like it could have been like a, you know, a situation that got, you know, got people riled up. There could have been conflict and things like that. I see peace and harmony. Okay, so calm after the storm is what I'm getting. Peace and harmony here. Let's see. Wow, some of you, pregnancy. Some of you, some of you are going to find out that you're pregnant. Others of you, this is like some sort of creative project, idea is going to blow up here. And I mean in a major way, and I'm talking about in a good way, okay? Some sort of business opportunity could be coming in, and I'm seeing like, it's a yes, a yes from the universe, okay? This new thing, whatever this is, whether it's a birth of a child or a birth of a, of a relationship, a, you know, a passionate relationship here, or like some sort of, like I said, business opportunity, career opportunity, whatever, some sort of creative thing that you want to do, it's sick. I, it's going to blow up, okay? It's, it's got a lot of potential around it here, okay? Yeah, someone may want to partner up with you. This could be love. I see like a, like a strong, passionate relationship here. This could be love or business. Someone here is partnering up with you. Some of you, this is like 11-11, like your twin flame for some of you I'm getting. Like you're, you're coming into a divine union, okay? You could already be, already be in this, but I'm seeing like someone here is rushing in on their horse here galloping towards you okay or you're doing this especially if you're a man i feel like this is my men and then this is a woman here okay some of you someone here wants to bring peace and harmony i just see like movement and this it looks good it could be something like out of the blue something goes on here let's see what's at the bottom i'm curious to see here what this is bomb here okay bomb 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 okay this is like the birth of something new could be the start of a new relationship, okay? The birth of a child, a home. You could be buying a home. You love this home, okay? 
You're going to be decorating the home. I see like decorations and things like that or just new begin new opportunities coming in. Some of you out of the blue, you may run into someone you're like it's a, like a divine union. Okay? New things, new things. It's going to be different. We'll get more cuz I have more cards to clarify everything here. This looks really good. Let's see. Um, do I want to use this one? Yeah, I'll use this one. Clarify the spread for my Aquarians. Clarify the spread for my Aquarians. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. Expect some good things to come, okay? Good things to come. If they haven't already taken place, okay? New job opportunities, new love things, birth of children, marriage proposals. I'm seeing good things. It's going to depend on the Aquarius how it unfolds, obviously. But let's see one more for my Aquarius. Don't try to spread for my Aquarius. Let's see. Yeah, some of you I'm getting like marriage or baby showers are taking place. Gender reveals. <laughs> Or just like you moving in with a partner here. Or you coming into alignment with someone here. Let me move this over. Let's see. Ma I told you. Marriage. Okay. And look at the bottom here. Ace of Wands. That's the Ace of, Ace of Clubs is the Ace of Wands and Tarot. Okay. Same thing. Clubs are Wands and Tarot. Marriage. Okay. Marriage. Commitment. This is marriage. Okay. Let's see, or some sort of commitment coming in, some sort of union. This could be marriage and business or love, but many of you, I feel like this is love. Okay, let's see. There is some sort of major challenge, though. The mountain talks about there's a major challenge, and I feel like it has something to do with this tower moment. Okay? This is pretty much this. The, the tower, there was something here that was a major challenge to overcome. But do know that things are going to work out here is what I'm getting. I feel like there's going to be movement. If there was a block, you could have blocked someone, they blocked you, or there was like just a block in, in your life, like a, a major challenge to overcome. I just see like, I don't know why I'm getting that song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, Ain't No River Wide Enough to Keep Me From Getting to You, Girl. I don't know what song that is. That's an old song, too. It goes, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. <laughs> Look, I can't sing, okay? And I'm, I'm just seeing this mountain. To keep me from getting to you or something like that. I can't sing, y'all. So don't even, don't come for me in the comments, okay? Let's see. Yeah, some of you, there's something about taking a closer look into something here. Putting a magnifying glass on something. Taking a closer look at something. Okay, if you're signing paperwork or there's something about taking a closer look. I'm putting a magnifying glass on something here. So you can, like, maybe you're looking at some paperwork or something. Or this could be, like, on a situation in general. Let's see. Okay, there is some sort of event. There is some sort of event taking place here. It's like this, the park represents like a gathering. It could talk about some sort of like birthday, baby shower, whatever. I'm seeing something about an event. Also, it could talk about information being made public. Like there could be an announcement of some kind. There could be an announcement of some kind. I'm seeing a tower and like a bell at the top of the tower. Like there's going to be an announcement. Some information is going to go public. Okay. Hmm, I'm getting publicity. Okay, I could barely say that word. Dang. Or just gathering, some sort of event. Okay. Let me move this over here. Let me see. You have. Okay, so someone here may clear. There's like the broom talks about clearing the air, having a fresh start here. But the whip can talk about there was something about some conflict that was going on. Okay, I feel like that has a lot to do with the tower. There was some, some sort of conflict, um, disagreements that were going on here. The whip talks about there was, there was conflict. I get that. There, there was definitely conflict. It wouldn't come out more. But I'm seeing that it's going to be a clearing of the air is what I'm getting. Like starting over, starting fresh. I get someone here is going to be jumping the broom, right? Because I see the broom here. Someone here is jumping the broom. Meaning marriage, okay? Hmm. And I just see people in the home celebrating, like... You see that? People in the background, there's an event taking place. People are attending some sort of gathering. And I get jumping the broom. 
And others of you, I get that if there was some sort of conflict, it's getting cleared up here, is what I'm getting. There's some sort of clearing up of some sort, sort of conflict. Conflict. Y'all have to excuse me, I've been talking for a minute. And I do see 11. You could be seeing that a lot lately, okay? I'm getting, with this, this is like, if you look, it's the four of wands, but it looks like an 11, 11. So some of you are lining with the twin flame here. I'm seeing 11 here. 11 is a strong number here for you. Okay, jack of, remember I said clubs are spades, or not clubs are spades, clubs are wands in uh, tarot. So this is the knight, right? The jack is the knight of wands, which we have here. So it's almost like somebody here is coming in to clear the air. They want to bring peace and harmony. They're headed towards this temperance card. They want to balance things out. They want to create harmony and peace. I'm seeing music and dancing too. Okay, so this is good. I like this. Okay, let's see. Clarify this spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. I don't know if some of you, I'm getting somebody here as a musician, artist in some way. Some about musicians and artists I'm picking up. If you're doing that, whatever you're doing that involves creative expression, I see that blowing up for you too, okay? It's something about artists. I'm getting like harmony notes being played, like melody, okay? Maybe that's someone's name, harmony, melody, something like that. But I'm getting like, you know, music. I keep getting like music, heavy music. All right, let's see. I keep getting all these songs in my head. I'm just saying, like, this is a song. I don't know if you know that song, uh, Summertime by Will Smith. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting summer, summer, summertime. Something like that. It don't have to be that type of uh, music. Some of you, this is like a, I don't know why I'm getting a bar mitzvah. I don't even know nothing about that, okay? Okay. <laughs> but I'm getting a bar mitzvah or something like that. Something to do with, like, some sort of christening or bat, like, I don't know. It's something religious I'm picking up on, okay? Like some sort of religious ties to this event for some of you, okay? Not all of you. But like I said, let's see. Clarify this prayer for my Aquarians. I feel like that wasn't good enough. I had to feel it, Aquarius. Clarify this prayer for my Aquarians. Some moon rising signs. Aquarius, some moon rising signs. All right, let's see. Clarify the spread for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. Alright, let's see. We have male lover, male lover. Some of you men, this is you. You really got a thing for this woman here. You like, oh, she fine. Oh, she, I like her. <laughs> There's something about that. And then, I look, I see music. Like, you may have, like, I'm seeing DJs and stuff or people that play music. Okay. A band or something here. I'm getting all that, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Yep, what did I say? Look at look at the dancing going on. There's music being played. I don't know why I'm getting that Jamie Foxx song. DJ, won't you play this girl a love song? <laughs> I don't know if you listen to any of these songs, okay? There's different types of songs out there, okay? But uh, I'm getting dancing. Okay? Now, for a small few of you, I am picking up something here where there was, like, three people involved, okay? Now, that's for a small few. Anytime I get this card and I see, it can talk about third-party lovers' triangles at times. But not all of you, but just keep in mind that I said that, okay? Many of you, I feel like this has something to do with just dancing and having a good time, you know? Yeah, okay. Hmm, some of you, someone here is a catch. As soon as I saw that, it's like, you know, you, you reel in, you catch, it's like someone here is a catch, Okay? Hmm, that's immediately what I thought of when I saw that. Like they they reeled something in here and it's like something of value here. This can also talk about money coming in, um, a job coming in, a promotion, reasons to celebrate. It can talk about some money, reeling some money in here. Okay. It can indicate at times uh, settling and feeling like you've settled in a situation. That could have been something to do with a tower moment that had been like settling. I settled with something, but I feel like that there's a dismantling of whatever you settled in, okay? I feel like things are changing. The wind, I'm seeing uh, change in the wind. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Okay, someone here may shock you though. 
It's like someone here shocked by some sort of news. They're facing the night of wands. Like, what? I ain't seen you in a long time. Almost like a family reunion or something. I'm getting. It's like someone here shocked by something. Like, what? Or they proposed or something. Hopefully I'm not ruining it for nobody, but I do get like shocked. Sometimes this can talk about someone here who gets a little too drunk, right? They have to be carried out of some sort of event. They got a little too drunk. Um, or just the delirious man. It can indicate someone here behaved foolishly. They did something They did something foolish. Okay? We'll see, though. I'm not really getting the bad energy just yet of the negative sides of the card. But if I see it, I will address it, though. But it can talk about foolish behavior, third-party situations. Someone here felt like they settled in a situation. There was a lot of anger and conflict. And major challenges to overcome but then i see a peaceful resolution to all of that though so if you were in a situation like that where there was like a third party situation someone here was settling right they were getting less than expected success i see there's going to be a change in the wind okay and some of you may be shocked by something here like somebody here is coming in let's see it like knocks you off your feet i'm getting so many so like the swv song I don't know what it is that you've done to me. I can't sing, okay? But I try, I try. There's something about this song. I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control inside. It takes over me in a day. And it's so amazing. There's something about that. Somebody got you weak in the knees, okay? Let's see. Someone here wants to commit, I'm telling you. Marriage. Okay. Some of you are like, I don't know that song because I got different subscribers. I'm like, they don't, you know, this is the music I listen to. I grew up on R&B and rap music for the most part, okay. Or, and, and a little bit, I like all types of music, to be honest. I like all types of music. Um, I see country music being played here too. It don't matter, right? I just see music and dancing and having fun, y'all. And something to do with a commitment. Okay, let's see. Yep, someone here's thinking. Someone here's been thinking about something. What they want to say, what decision they want to make. They're talking about deciding something here. Okay, and it looks like this night. It could be my male Aquarians. I'm seeing more of a masculine energy and doing some sort of thinking. Okay, maybe about communicating something. This has something to do with, uh, look, look at him looking. He's thinking something over regarding some sort of contract, paperwork or something. So I'm taking a closer look at something with the fuck. See how there's like paperwork behind there, in a sense? Someone's taking a closer look at something here, okay? And it's almost like they have some sort of decision they want to make, okay? Has something to do with this event, okay? I see like a lot of, let's see. House, home, the casa is significant here. Things to do with property, the home. I don't know if you're moving or not or something. There's something about the house, the home, and significant family. Okay? Some of you, there is a building involved, but I feel like this could be, be just the home. There's something about a building. Okay? This looks larger than a home, so it could be some sort of state, federal building, courthouse, right? Or, um, I'll put this over here. Um, it could be a church. Okay? It's significant here. It could be anything some sort of hospital okay can speak to the birth or conception of a child here for some of you all right let's see clarify this spread for aquarius sun moon rising signs clarify this spread for aquarius sun moon rising like i said you had the ring here you had a ring here definitely this has to do with commitment marriage okay clarify this spread for my aquarius sun moon rising Okay, clarify the spread for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising sign. Clarify the spread for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising sign. Clarify the spread for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising sign. Okay, there you go. Alright. Let's read the ones that flipped over first and then we'll take whatever this whole pack fell out here. What did I say? birth or conception of a child or an uh, enterprise maybe a business thing it's going to take off y'all birth or conception of a child or a business enterprise and there's a lot of good fortune around you a lot of good fortune good luck romance is in the air Ooh, okay good luck you have a lot of good luck around you okay 
I see you taking a vacation physically or mentally. Maybe after you get married, you're taking a vacation. Okay? Taking a vacation either physically or mentally. Okay? You have a lot of great passion for someone or them you. Okay? I see passion. These are passionate people here. Okay? Or you have a great passion to work on some sort of, if you want to get this business thing I saw off the ground. Off the ground. Any op there is some there, there's some troubles here, but you will have triumph over troubles and obstacles, right? The mountain talks about there's an obstacle, a block, the mountain, right? The tower can talk about that too, but you will have triumph over that. There's obstacles to overcome. I told you I picked that up, okay? Family sorrow. This could be something that went on with this. This, this, I feel like this already happened for some of you. It was some sort of sudden turn of events that brought about family sorrow. If it was a loss in the family, your ancestors coming through saying, do not cry over me. Go out and have some fun. Do what you, you know, and celebrate me, okay? Don't spend your life grieving over me. I'm good, okay? And I'm getting reunion will happen, okay? Now, you don't have to believe in what I believe in. Do not, look, I don't care what you believe in. I'm getting what I get. There's going to be a reunion with whoever, if they passed, okay? Um, family sorrow, okay? There was something that went on with that. But you're stepping into a new experience, right? Stepping into a new experience. Slowly but surely, you will get ahead, okay? Maybe feeling like a little turtle's face, but slowly but surely, you will get ahead. And you are guaranteed success. Guaranteed. You could be feeling depressed and anxious and worried that someone is against you, but you're protected. Don't worry about all that, okay? Some of you are depressed about something that happened. It was a family sorrow. Maybe you went through a divorce recently or something. I don't look, it's whatever, it's gonna be different. There was something about family sorrow, and now there's some sort of depression, anxiety, and worry that someone's against you. But there's a change for the better coming here. A change for the better. You should accept valid criticism, okay? There was something about someone here critiqued you, criticized you for something. Accept the valid criticism and then keep it moving, okay? We all get criticized, some of it is valid, sometimes we don't wanna accept that, but. It's all good. It helps you grow stronger. You can learn from the crit criticism, okay? There could have been something going on with that tower moment, okay? There was some sort of conflict, okay? I see you having an increase in your material wealth or spiritual growth or both, okay? Increase in material wealth, spiritual growth, or both. Like I said, birth or conception of a child enterprise here. Okay? This looks good. Okay? All right, let me go ahead and pull some cards real quick. I don't want this to be too long. Let me lay out all the uh, cards that I want to pull as far as the advice. Okay, what's the advice for my Aquarius? Aquarius, some, let me move this to the side real quick. Let me put this over here with this. Can I find a spread for my Aquarius from my rising signs? Can I find a spread for Aquarius from my rising signs? Clarify the spread for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. Clarify the spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. Take time to breathe out, okay, Aquarius? If you've been going through anything, they're saying they want you to take time to breathe out. A lot of you have been depressed, anxious, worried that something, they don't want you to be in that sort of, sort of state, okay? I'll hold it up in a second. Look at the bigger picture, okay? They want you to see the bigger picture in a situation. Everything happens for a reason, okay? If you went through anything difficult, there's some challenges. I've, everything happens for a reason. Try to see the bigger picture here, okay? Conclusions are within reach, okay? Conclusions, endings, whatever, they're in within reach. You're going to be stepping into a new experience. One more on this side. Prosperity lies ahead. And balance spirituality with practicality, okay? That's what the temperance card talks about. It's all about finding a balance, okay? You can't be too spiritual and forget to be practical and down to earth and, you know, focus on your money, your finance, and things like that, or just be practical. You have to find that balance, okay? You can't, it can't be you're too materialistic and don't believe in anything. You know what I mean? Like, you have to find the balance between your spiritual side and being here on earth and having a physical experience here on earth, okay? Find that balance. You can't be too, I'm all spiritual and, I, you know, but then you don't have a sense of reality in the real world. You get what I'm saying? Where I'm going with that? So, yeah. That's what the temperance card talks about. Okay? Having one foot in the water, right? The one foot is in the water. See so the feet? To represent the spiritual side, right? But on earth, too, there needs to be a balance. Okay? 
find peace and heart. That's going to bring peace and harmony in for you. So I'm going to deal with the Pisces here. Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. Like I said, new moon in Taurus should be done with the Taurus. Or have that in your chart. Conclusions are within reach. Look at the bigger picture here. Sagittarius could be significant. And take time to breathe out. Okay. We can't have you on all the time. Okay. It's about try to find peace and harmony here. Okay. Look at the bigger picture. Things happen the way they do for a reason. This has to do with that family sorrow I picked up on. Okay. And the challenge to overcome. Things are going to work out. You have a lot of good luck around you. They want you to take a vacation physically or mentally. You will have any triumph over troubles and obstacles. Okay. You're stepping into it. Slowly but surely you will get ahead and you are guaranteed success here. Okay. A change for the better. If you were critiqued or criticized in any way, let the chips fall where they may. Okay. You're going to get a lot of increase in your material wealth, spiritual growth here. Okay. All right. Let me move forward because I have other cards I want to pull. Clarify this spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the spread for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. Clarify the spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for them. My Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Thank you. I'm like, man, come on now. It says focus on your home and love. That's what this is all about. The home. The casa. This all has to do with the home. And focusing on your home and love. Okay. I'm going to read that one. Um, after I pull one more. Okay. One more and that's it. Aquarius, I'm rising. Do me a favor. Hit that like button, please. Comment down below. Let me know how the reading is resonating for you guys. All right. Show your girl some love. Let's see. One more. Aquarius, some more rising. Can I find a spread for them? What's the message in here for them? I'm a strong message with this reading, my Aquarius. All right. Let's see. You have sun spirit. <laughs> this is a good card, y'all. A good, good card to get. Okay. And I'll read both of those and then I'll end the reading off, okay? Let me read Sun and Cancer number four. You can be seeing 444 a lot. You do have the four wands. You have a 44 here. So, yeah, 444 and 1111 are def definitely numbers you may be seeing an increase in, okay? You even have a one here, so. All right, let's see, number four. It says, this is a time to focus on your heart. Focus on those you love in your home and your family and your sense of connectedness to the big picture family, your ancestry, your roots, and children. A new development with family or property, such as a move or home decorating, will ask that you avoid being overly emotional in your responses. Respond compassionately to events or you will find that life can become challenging or even topsy-turvy. Trust that new developments will be to your advantage and at the least will teach you a fresh and deeper understanding of yourself and the people you love. Your emotions may be particularly heightened, so this is an excellent time to look for ways to soothe and calm strong emotions, such as fear, jealousy, a sense of loss, or anxi anxiety. Meditation, yoga, and mindfulness will help you to stay calm. Take time to breathe out. At this time, a fresh project that involves writing or storytelling may appe appeal to you. It is an excellent time to tap into your imagination to create art, music, and poetry. That's why I picked that up, art, music, poetry. This is an excellent time to develop your intuition, to trust your instincts. The spiritually minded will enjoy de delving more deeply into mysticism and understanding of your greater purpose in life. This is a good time to boost your understanding of dream work or shamic abilities. A psychic intuitive development course, counseling course, or writing course will stimulate ideas and a deeper understanding of life in yourself okay so that's what that's talking about and like they said take time to breath I feel like you know family sorrow there's fears worries people working against you you may feel maybe your own family or something but they're saying your emotions may be particularly heightened so this is an excellent time to look for ways to soothe and calm these strong emotions such as fear right jealousy and a sense of loss or lack not lack i'm sorry i keep saying it wrong a sense of loss or anxiety and remember, that's what it, okay, I don't want to keep going on and on with that. Let's move forward, okay? Sometimes I feel like I have to over-explain, like, look, I said, y'all heard, y'all can replay it back if you didn't. 
Let's see. Um, number oh one one. Let's see. It says the sun is at the center of our lives, just as it is traditionally in the astrological chart. This is why the placement of the sun is the most is the most significant. The sun is our spirit, our personality. It represents the animating flash of life. Okay, let me get to why, why the card is here. That's just like the brief overview of why the sun, what the sun is. It says, when the sun card presents itself in a spread, it adds an encouraging spin to any reading. The sun is that all is good. It is the positivity that trumps anything negative. This card says that all eyes are on you and you have the strength and the power to get things done. All things that are truly meaningful are starting to happen now. You are now in a place to lead and inspire. It is through this sun's inspiration and creativity that will enable you to make something materialize. This may be at the front of a group or on stage or just in the way that you lead with confidence. The sun card gives an empathetic yes to your reading. Another meaning behind this card is that summer months are relevant. Summer may be when the wish for an event occurs, parties, events, which emphasize creativity, fun, children, and childlike adults are all figuring into the situation. Okay, so that's maybe why I got that summertime song. Remember, I was like, summer, summer, summertime by Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff, right? From Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But yeah, that's it's saying another meaning behind this card is that the summer months are relevant. So that means right now, July, August, those are, I don't consider, I don't know about you, but I don't consider September summer, but could be. But it says um, summer may be when the wish for event occurs. Some of you are going to be taking center stage, like I'm getting going public or something with something here, something creative. Like it says, parties, parties, events which emphasize creativity, fun, children, and childlike adults are all figuring into the situation. This card also implies an aptitude for acting or just a period where, where dramatic ability and creative leadership could greatly benefit your mission. You may find yourself singled out perhaps in a dramatic situation where you show your skills in some impromptu ways such as giving a speech or teaching a class. It is also a time of generosity and laughter. The spotlight shines on your life. What are you doing now? I'm sorry, what you are doing now is being noticed. If not used, if not used to this, you may react with aloofness. Aloofness. Avoid foolishness, immaturity, and any lack of organization during this time, or the matter could fall apart at the seams, okay? Be all in all that this is a progressive, energetic card which foretells positive things on the horizon. This card indicates that matters will be going your way, but leadership on your part will be necessary. It is time to act and take your place in the sun. Ooh, so that's what it is. Okay, so that's what the message is. If you like what you um you see here, hit that like button. Okay, um, check out your moon, your rising. I always suggest that, and I'll see you guys again. Bye, Aquarius.